Before reef fish can be seen here in the Florida Keys, many species live out their juvenile lives here in the nearshore seagrass beds. The nearshore habitat is important for reef fishes and many other species because provide shelter they're gonna settle after having a planktonic life. To get a better idea of what is happening to these juvenile fishes, a team of Florida fish and wildlife scientists use seining to target these populations. The seining program in the Florida Keys has been around since 2001. The seining data provides a unique source of information for economically important species such as snappers and for other species of less economical value that may influence the fisheries or may play an important ecological role. To conduct these surveys, a large net is pulled through shallow water over seagrass beds. Fish captured in the net are transferred to a bucket and brought back to the boat where they are counted and measured. Uh, the typical catch in the seine, mostly we get small fish like anchovies and silver sides. We also get a lot of grunts, uh, parrotfishes, snappers. Once measured and recorded, the fish are released and additional information about the site is documented. This includes noting water temperature and salinity, as well as having scientists conduct a survey of the bottom and the vegetation growing there. This information is used to learn more about the juvenile lives of fishes before they reach the reefs. For example, this graph shows seasonal peaks when certain species use these seagrass beds. By including the seining program with other monitoring programs, scientists can have a better understanding of how fishes use different habitats during various stages of their lives. So the next time you are here, enjoying the reef, remember that some of these fish started out their lives here.